I almost forgot to record this vlog because I'm that tired. Uh, yeah, so it's Monday. I went to I by myself, ugly, <laughs> you know, Phil. We went to uh, FlameCon this past weekend. We only went Saturday because it was our first time going. Uh, mainly to scope it out because last year it kind of like happened and we were like, what's this? And it was like after the fact. People were like, oh my god, Joe, why weren't you there? And I was like, I, 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 no one told me about this. I would have planned ahead. So this year I made sure, <laughs> excuse me, um, to plan ahead and to go. And a lot of people were like, oh, you, you should totally get a table. But I, I usually like to scope out a spot before getting a table. It's very rare. Uh, Walker Soccer, I think, is the only one that I literally just was like, all right, doing a table. This is like without even attending one. So, um, so yeah, we went, we checked it out, and I really like it. Like, I have to say, probably the moment we got in and we got, and we, like, they, you know, scanned our ticket kind of thing, and I was like, you know, put, putting my skates on and putting my sneakers and fucking co check and shit, I immediately was like, I already like this. You know, and usually if I'm scoping out a new convention, um, one, obviously, I look for convenience or at least like travel wise and all that stuff. Um, like, two, also, organization is always something that's very important to me, which is why certain conventions I don't do tables at anymore, nor do I even attend them, all that stuff. Um, and obviously, three is like the people who go there. So, obviously, if it's if, if it feels like if it doesn't feel comfortable or something, obviously, I'm not gonna go because I'm not gonna put myself through that, you know. I very much enjoy this. Like I said, I, we got their scanner ticket. I changed it from my sneakers to my fucking roller skates. I almost busted my ass a couple times, but that's fine. Um, even yeah, even the, like the two old men that worked at Kocheck were like super nice. They're like, "Have fun, ladies." We're like, "All right," you know. Um, yeah, you go in, and it's in like this little, I guess you would say, like hall or something in the in the hotel. Um, like I guess more like a banquet kind of spot, but. I think I was, I was checking the map and there was almost 200 tables. Now, oh, as I say that, got it. Uh, wait, hold on, I gotta get the thumbnail. There you go. <laughs> now if you think about it, like everyone got like a six foot, you know, table spot and the entire thing was Artist Alley, which is just amazing, you know? Um, when I was talking to some of my other cosplay friends, I was like, oh, I don't know, like, how the artist alley is, and they're like, dude, the whole thing's artist alley, and I'm like, okay, um, and, and, and it was also, it was great, because, you know, everyone there, like, you know, whether they have their own comic, or do their own, like, it, it feels like, it's like the whole, like, back to, to the roots kind of, conve like, comic convention kind of thing, because it's like, everyone's literally, like, do their, doing their own thing, like, of course, you know, like, certain subject matters, and whatever not, excuse me, some people would have like kind of similar stuff but in no way does it feel like some other conventions where it's like, oh wow, everyone's doing that same exact Green Lantern portrait, you know what I mean? It's not like that kind of stuff. Um, obviously you know, it is an LGBT um, like, you know, comic convention, so obviously certain themes are very similar, but it wasn't just like, ah, oh, here we go again, you know, like again with like some comic conventions and Whatever now, where it's just like, oh look, there's people drawing, you know, ships and you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there was there was at no time did I like did any of the tables seem boring, as mean as that sounds. You know, you could tell all of this was like original individual stuff. You know, and when I say boring, I don't mean like oh like it didn't grab my interest, so it was boring. It was just like because it just seems. Um, like, it doesn't feel, like, organic, like, it's this person's thing. It just looks like, oh, man, it seems like the internet loves these memes. So, you know what I mean? Like, that kind of stuff. Like, everyone was doing, like, original art. You could tell that there's, like, so many different styles and all that stuff. And it was great. And, again, there was, like, so many com different comic writers, artists, you know, so many different people, like, selling their little, like, craft tchotchkes. There was a like, guy selling, like, crocheted, like, job straps, which I was very close to buying one for Paul because... <laughs> He's the straightest man I've ever met in my life, and I was just like, I just, I just couldn't. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't go through with it because I cherish her friendship more than than like the thirty minutes or more that we would be laughing with him with that on. Anyway, um, 
we didn't go to any panels or anything or but i do like that the the bathroom like on the thing it's just like a water droplet and all the bathrooms are gender neutral which is great it was kind of odd at first to kind of just see like you know like people of all different genders kind of walking through but it was cool though because it's like you know and another thing about this convention is that like there was no harassment you know of any kind because there's because you know um glee tends to do some cosplays they're a little bit more the revealing side although this time you know she is in a full bodysuit you know she's wearing like pantyhose and all that shit but you know it looks like she has like you know a lot of legs showing even though you know that's paintings she's like layered up and all that stuff and usually well more like outside the convention you know you get the the creeps you get the people who are just like or like why are you wearing and like why are you wearing that you know or like there, there's always like you know like the the asshole guys that kind of ruin it and they're just like hey hey let me get a hug and it's like no bitch like no just because you asked right no i'm gonna give you a hug and me being like the protective friend i'm just like i don't need you to fuck off so there wasn't any of that everyone there was so welcoming they were so nice you know and then like you know like i felt at home you know you know being part of the lgbt and all that stuff so glee as well you know we we, we felt at home it, it it felt right brian i felt right you know it felt good like it, it was good like obviously like i i was glad you know you know, it was a, as you would say, a safe space and all that stuff, because it's good, you know, it's good to, like, not have to deal with any of that shit, you know, because okay? everyone was super nice, every, like, every artist and whatever not we were, we had spoken to, you know, at the table, you know, they, they it, it didn't seem like force, you know what I mean, like, again, other conventions, you would talk to them and they're kind of like, okay, are you going to buy anything? Like, they're more that they want you to buy something, and then if you just, like, have a good, even if you have just, like, a good dialogue, and then they like you don't buy like for me if we like have a good dialogue and you don't buy anything i'm not gonna be mad like i'm just more like at least take a card this do you have a card? let's exchange card. like i at least want that you know like, at least that of course you know the main thing is to sell yourself but you know it's like at least it's like that was a really interesting conversation we had or like that was cool they enjoyed my work or like hey we had things in common and that's cool like for me i'm like that's like that's good like it's a good starter for me obviously duh again if you buy my shit that's even better but you know again other cons it seems like some people get so on that like all right i'm here to sell oh you just want to talk you're not gonna give me any money well pss, you know it's i i've seen that a lot where people are just like uh-huh like they'll look at you and they're like yeah right uh-huh cool and at first they're like hey i'm talking to you and then they're just kind of like pretty much either they give you this face of like are you gonna leave or are you gonna buy something and it's just very kind of like <sighs> all right you know and here like er er again everyone was so super nice and it's like you know they're talking to you and then i'm just like oh here's my card and they're like oh thanks yeah take ours and then and one person was like i gave it to like the friend because you know they're sharing the table and the guy was like okay get one too and i was like i almost went what <laughs> like I, I was just so caught up in the moment. I was like, "Kick it, what? Oh, right, yeah. Here you go, you know." And I got their cards, and you know they were super cool. Yeah, I didn't buy anything from them, but like we kind of enjoyed it. And then when we'd come by again, it was just like, "Hey, you know that kind of stuff." And it's again, it's like cool, like you know, like I said, some other conventions, they're just like, Ugh, "Don't talk to me by myself," or like, "Hey, I'm super." And then yeah, I was gonna say, oh, that was my next point is that sometimes there you. You end up like running into the internet famous people, which most of the time I don't know who any of these people are. Like, e whether you're internet famous, you know, I'm usually funny enough, I usually don't know who you are, and most of the time I really don't care. But there wasn't any of that shit, you know. Like, error again, I keep I keep saying this, and it and it seems kind of like dumb. Like, wow, you keep saying that everyone's really nice, and it's all honestly like not a lot of people are nice to me. Like, I go through my daily life just people constantly giving me shit. It's not, I'm not trying to get like a pity part, I'm just being honest. Like people like just seem to hate me a lot. So when people are nice to me, I'm like, really? What do they want? You know, I'm like, do they want something? Oh shit, you're generally nice to me, oh fuck. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I got the program book. Um, but you know, obviously we're gonna go back. There's a, there was like this AFK section away from keyboard. I'm like, oh fun. and. I was just like, it's a quiet area. Okay, I'm like, do you want to go sit there? And we like walked in, and it was just like this mini hallway. The air conditioning was a little bit stronger, which helped because it was just like, <sighs> and you just sit there and you kind of just 
chit-chatting with friends, you know, like, or just resting. There was a dude who was in, like, a fursuit. He took it off, and he was just kind of, like, with his partner. And then they are like, all right, ready to go. And he put it back on, you know. It was kind of, it was really fuzzy. But, yeah, so at the doorway, they had, they had these stickers. Um, and, and I, I didn't even notice it, because I just noticed, like, some of the, the artists wearing it, and some of the people attending were wearing it. Um, and I was just like, where the fuck do you get these? And it's like the pronouns. And I, and I think that's great, you know? And, and I, I love that they acknowledge that because, you know, you, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to accidentally piss someone off, you know? So like, obviously there's, you know, they, him, her, and then there's also the one I was like, hey, how about you ask me? You know, that kind of stuff. You know, let's start, again, let's start a dialogue kind of thing. And I thought that was great. It was, it's very smart, you know, I'm not expecting every con to have that. Um, but obviously for something like an LGBT comic convention, that was great, you know? They also had little water stations, which I really like and appreciate. Um, apparently I mentioned that today to one of my colleagues and they just like rolled their eyes at me. They were just like, wow, okay, you're so excited for free water. And I was like, wow, that is why your life is so goddamn boring. You like to bring me down all the fucking time, bitch. Whatever. Ujo, how was your convention? Why are you asking me? Because you're always going to say something like, Oh my god, well, that's so weird. Like, how about you try to do something more insult? Anyway. So, I went to... What the fuck is this booth called? Like, was it... I was supposed to say butt cheeks. Booty. Oh, yeah. Uh, be uh beauty. Uh, booty and the geek. And their website is buttday.com. Based out in Brooklyn. And I wanted to get, actually, the science officer um, Star Trek shorts, but they didn't have it in my size, because I'm a big bitch. Um, and that's a great thing, is that they have size extra small to 3X. And Glee got her red, red uniform for more like Ohora, um, her Star Trek shorts, and she's an extra small, obviously. Uh, I'm an XL. Um, so I was a little happy. I thought, like, at first I was looking at, like, I didn't look at the pant size numbers. I was looking at just the regular measurements. And I was like, I think I'm like a 2XL because I'm like, because it was like, I work here, but then I'm wider here. And I was like, which way? And I, and obviously these things stretch. But yeah, so I got these stripey ones instead. And they are super comfy. I felt like I was walking around in my underwear, which is just what I love because no pants are the best pants. Um... Yeah, so I look like an overzealous, like, freaking, you know, referee and all that shit. But again, these are super comfy, and the funny thing is, uh, they're, they're a little, well, you know, when you stretch it out, you know, they're a little bit see-through, and I had, like, bright underwear on, <laughs> and so, and of course those also happen to be stripes, and of course Glee is like, now you have horizontal stripes and vertical, and I was like, I love me my stripes. I do. I do. It's just my inner, like, you know, my middle school, high school, huge Tim Burton fan thing coming out. Um, I keep smelling these because uh, I wore them and they have already soaked up a lot of farts. And it doesn't seem like it still smells like stretch fabric. So, but yeah, like definitely check them out because they have so many different things and things are really cute. So, you know, fuck it. I think that's seriously the only, well, not that, that isn't the only thing I bought. Fuck, I bought a little dick. <laughs> I'll have it showing right here, a picture of it, but, uh, because that's my makeup in that bag. Anyway, yeah, I bought a little dick. This, ah, oh, God, I forgot his name. This guy had a table, and he made little kind of, like, shrinky dink dicks, uh, keychains, and I forgot how much they were, but we were trying to figure out which dick to buy, um, because at first you see some of them, and they seem kind of, like, abstract. You're not sure what it is, and then you look at it a little bit longer, and you're like, oh, that's a dick. <laughs> um, I, I bought, I bought, like, I bought a little dick, and it's, like, this big, and it, just for, like, a good, was it five, ten minutes, we were at that guy's booth, and, uh, because I already, you know, decided on my little dick, <laughs> fucking hell, uh, Glee was trying to, try to, she was trying to find one very, like, you know, like I said, abstract, and it's like, oh, you can't really tell it's a dick, um, yeah, so, of course, you know, making dick jokes is great, and I kept saying things like, this would be exactly, if I had a penis, this is what it would look like, and then I kept saying things like, don't worry, it's a grower, not a shower, you know, it might be like this now, 
wait till I was like wait till tonight <laughs> like it's just I, I just couldn't stop making dick jokes you know because that's like the best thing ever um so so yeah I think that yeah those I think were the only things we bought were <laughs> shorts and little dicks Fuck me, man. Fuck me with my little dick. Anyway, I'm gonna stop there. Um, but anyway, yeah, so, uh, there were obviously, like, there are a good amount of cosplayers there. A lot of people, like, you know, the, their cosplays were super fun, you know, and I'm glad that, like, my, like, roller derby rogue one, you know, worked out really well and it was very well, ex like, um, what's the word? Accepted, f good feedback, words and phrases. Anyway, people liked it. Um, yeah, so I'm really glad for that, and yeah, it, it's like, it's definitely a good con to like, you know, test out your, your little, uh, your little dick, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna just fucking stop, anyway, um, that's not much else to say, like, we, we took a break, and like, what is up with this, okay, my hair looked like I was like, business casual, fuck that shit, um, yeah, so we took a little break in their little cafe, kind of area in the hotel and the food was like yeah of course it's like food straight from the hotel so of course it's gonna be pretty pricey but it was good so I wasn't mad at the price you know I even said to Glee I was like dude I'll, I'll pay for it it's fine you know because I was owing her money anyway from the food the night before I was like dude I'll buy it I'm like dude just pick whatever I don't care about the price I know we're gonna have to pay this the coffee was really good too but it's that uh Brooklyn fine sandwich thing anyway it was really good it's funny because we were sitting here eating and then obviously it's a hotel with other people in it so <laughs> like I, you know you just hear kind of like a kid making kid sounds and then the mom going like look honey look there's superheroes here and it's like, and we're just kind of like, I'm like eating a salad, like, I want some ketchup, salad, you know? <laughs> yeah, so it was cute, because the kid was like, oh, you know? Um, some people, like, by the bar area was just kind of like, what the fuck is these weirdos, you know, going on here? And I'm just like, I'm not weird. I just can't seem to roller skate properly, which is funny. Like, I've had many years of ice hockey. And I used to inline skate a lot. But roller skates are different. Plus, these also are, like, heavier, too. It's too much friction for me. I like zero to no friction because I work better that way. But anyway, um, we went out at one point and just kind of chilled outside. and took some pictures outside as well. Um, so, of course, we got a bunch of people like, what's the occasion? What's up? We're like, right over there. You know, um, we went back, did another round, you know, you know, kind of did a nice goodbye to people we met and all that stuff. Um, yeah, definitely go through the business cards and see who else. And then, um, yeah, then afterwards there was like a Shake Shack down the block and the guy taking our order, like, put the order through at, as Rogan Storm and that was kind of cool. Um, it's funny because we're just standing here waiting for our food and like, like you can see, uh, the also the cashier took a selfie with like the with us he's like wait hold on you know imagine if the phone actually made that noise anyway but yeah while like we're waiting for food it's just like other people are like what the fuck are these weirdos doing here and some other people are kind of like kind of dressed kind of wackadoodle but we you know you know how it goes with us we, we go all out it's all or nothing you know it's like we're either gonna do a fucking cosplay or we're just gonna be ourselves but anyway yeah, so that was, that was FlameCon 2, because it's the second year, uh, 2016. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do a table next year, because this seems, like, really fun. Like I said, the art was a large variety. Like, we even saw, like, an artist that kind of did kind of, like, kind of horror-esque kind of stuff, and it was funny, because Glee even said, she goes, Hey, Joe, look, it's, uh, she goes, there's your table right over there. So it's like, okay. And, uh, and I'm always a little worried when it's something like that because my art is just so odd and uh, there's gonna be fetuses like I don't know how people accept it like even at a horror convention people are like why do you have this and I'm like you're at a horror convention where people are dressed up as fucking zombies and yet that is seems to be too much for you but anyway I've been babbling for way too long because I actually really enjoyed this con so yeah um see so ya yeah, I guess but I really should learn how to outro my videos better bye